In tonight's exciting episode of Iron Truck Camper Chef, we are going to be making on the barbecue Prairie Fresh Natural Organic Pork Tenderloin. And we have long cut russet potatoes with a slice of butter. And then we've sprinkled it with ground salt, Italian herb, and a little bit of sage. And that is going to be wrapped up into aluminum foil, just like this. And what I didn't show you already is we have Danish squash. And we have cut that in half, pulled out the seeds. We put in two tablespoons of butter in each one and two tablespoons of brown sugar. And the secret ingredient for squash, pumpkin pie spice slap. So that is something that I found that makes squash taste really good, almost like pumpkin pie. So we are going to put our potatoes in here. I just have to wrap up this one here. I'm going to have to one hand of this with assistance from my belly. So we overlap the wrap so that it locks it, seals it, and we fold the sides up and over the top. And there you go, we have our long cut potato in foil. So we're going to put these in the oven here. We got the squash and the roast potatoes going at 350 degrees. All right, now we are going to prepare this, but first we need to put our briquettes in the charcoal fryer. And uh, what else we got going here? So we have the pork tenderloin Rust potatoes and Danish squash and I think that is probably about all we are going to need uh, we will also be having a couple of delicious beers one of my personal favorites here Irish death it is brewed by a brewery in Ellensburg Washington this other one is resisting but Resistance is futile. Imperial Pale Ale, Maritime Pacific. And that's another good beer. So we will be enjoying those with our beer. Oh, and I guess I do have some salad. I've got toss green salad here and coleslaw, so we will just mix the two. And uh, for dressing, we have chunky blue cheese, Thousand Island. And more chunky blue cheese, and I believe there is a honeydew or um, honey mustard in here somewhere too. Okay, so let me um, get the barbecue going, and we will continue with Iron Truck Camper Chef. Tonight's exciting episode of Truck Camper Iron Chef is being filmed on location next to the river cabin which is located next to the river and of course this episode of iron truck camper chef is being sponsored by dave <laughs> just, just burnt himself on the halogen light I think Dave is the proud owner of one of the last halogen lights in existence with all the prevalence of... Um, <clears throat> what do they call those things? LEDs. LEDs. <laughs> so, so there we go. We are over here next to Lay Truck Camper. And we have Dave's truck over here. We are in the shadow of Mount Adams, which makes for an excellent... Iron Truck Camper Chef location. Um, unfortunately, you can't really see the mountain from here. 
because of all the trees. Oh yeah, there you go. Here's the mountain up through there. Yeah, so there is Mount Adams. And these are all dairy fields around us. Of course, uh, we're kind of in a little treed in area here and you can't really see beyond it. Okay, um, let us get back to our lighting the barbecue and preparing our tenderloin steak, which is just going to be, a, or yeah, pork tenderloin, which is just going to be a simple uh, preparation tonight with some Italian herb, rosemary, sage, salt, and um, that'll be that, and then just good old barbecue flavor. And we do have some barbecue sauce here to put on that when finished. Okay, so let us get going. We have our coals are lit with the help of Kingsford charcoal lighter. Odorless. Okay, so we will let that do its thing and uh, we will just prepare our pork uh, tenderloin. Okay, let us get started on preparing our steak. Uh, so once again, I am posed with a dilemma here that I only have one hand. And I need two to cook. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the steak out of the package. We're going to cut it three ways. One incision this way, one incision that way, and then we're going to peel it open. And then we are going to put in our spices, which are... We've got Italian herb and rosemary. Sage. And a little bit of salt. Very simple. And then, when it's all done, if somebody wants, we have... Where is it? Back here. Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Kind of a standby. Everybody seems to like it, so what the heck. Um, okay, uh, let me get going on this. Okay, I have found a way to hang the camera precariously from a handle on the uh, overhead kitchen cabinet. So let us begin. Okay, well, this is already split. Oh, it's already a two-piecer. I didn't know that. Okay, um, set that there and let's give it a quick rinse. And give it a quick rinse. Set that aside over on the stove. Okay, well, this is going to be very simple, I guess. We're just going to kind of... Just put our spices on it, and that'll be that. We still have to wait for the briquettes to catch up. Just the right amount of aluminum foil left, so let's put that on here, like such. 
this glue down into the sink. Let me uh, get a bleach wipe here. And clean up the stuff on here. One more bleach wipe. Or Clorox wipe, I don't know if it actually has bleach in it. Okay, so we will wash out the cutting sheet in a little bit. So this is just going to be quick and simple here. All we are going to do is just put spice on this and that will be that. Nothing special. is our sage. Italian herb. Oops. seem to be out of rosemary. Okay, well that's all right. Um, rosemary has, or uh, Italian herb has rosemary in it, along with sage and parsley and Okay, this is Tony Shaker's Spice and Herb Seasoning, and it is very good on pork and chicken. Okay, and that's that. I'm just going to uh, pick up a little of the extra in there, and... So that will go on the barbecue to the side of everything and cook most of the way and then we'll take the foil, open it up and let it uh, grill. Okay, let me pause this. Progress update, Iron Truck Camper Chef. Dave and I are enjoying our beers here. Look at that. That is the proper way to drink a beer. Notice the wrist and the tilt, and then the enjoyment. I myself, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> blowing off the fingers for perfection. And uh, I myself am uh, having a, uh, oh boy, that's a good beer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So we are waiting for the coals to get to the uh, proper cooking temperature, white hot, get all the black uh, unburnt coal lit and burning. So we're just going to wait here. We have the goodies in the oven are still going and the pork tenderloins are absorbing their spices. Is there any in there? Oh, uh, well, if those chips are gone, look over the in the cabinet above, in the middle. All right, let's take a look and see what we got going on here. Well, those boxy houses have more room in them than, than standard houses. Okay, looking good. 
holes are doing well. They go up fast. They're easy to build. They okay. have a flat roof. We're going to let these coals heat up for a few minutes well, they make and then we'll uh, put the lid back on. And here we are at the completion of uh, dinner. Iron sh truck camper chef. We've got our pork tenderloin roast, our long sliced potatoes with Italian herb, salt, and sage, and then we have our sl um, Danish squash with some butter, brown sugar. We didn't have our pumpkin pie spice, so we'll have to rough it. And here is Dave. He's about to try his squash. Let's see. It's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> He's going to try a little bit of it. What do you think? You're going to live? Tastes like candy. Tastes like candy. Okay, well, that's <laughs> good. And how did the... Um, pork turn out. You didn't try that yet? Well, you tried it earlier and you we thought... tried the pork earlier. It was good. It was good. It was good. Look at that. Now that is the method of a savage to eat. Ugh. All right, let me uh, try mine. I am interested in trying the potatoes. This is kind of like a experiment. All right, let's see what we got here. Not bad, maybe a little dry. The potato? Mm hmm That's a little dry. A little dry, they were in the oven maybe too long, but still good. It's edible. Yeah, it's edible. Okay, so, let me try the squash here, just to make sure. That's good. Is this mm -hmm. where the guy comes yelling out of the woodwork? Which guy? Screaming and yelling that you did it wrong? Yeah, something like that. All those chef shows have that. Mm -hmm. No, you did it wrong! <laughs> okay, so there you go. Live from Iron Truck Camper Chef, Trot Challenge, Trot Lake Washington, Challenge Pork Tenderloin with Danish squash and long sliced baked potatoes. We'll see you on the next exciting episode of Iron Truck Camper Chef. The flies like it. The flies like it. <laughs> and you know what? So do you.